Hi guys, it's Lucy and welcome back to another video. So something I get asked quite a lot is what people should do with their time before starting paramedic science. Um, so for example, I finished my A-levels in June 2018 and I didn't start uni until January 2019. So I had a massive gap in between that and I didn't really know what to do with myself. Yeah, so now I've got my own tips of what people should do because even if um, people are starting in September, that's still a couple of months where you could be doing stuff that's beneficial um, to start your degree. And obviously it's personal choice if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight on with the video. So I've got four main topics to cover. Um, from personal experience, this is what I did. So the first one is anatomy and physiology. Everyone always questions it. What textbooks do you need? Is it hard? Can you do it without doing it um, at A level? Um, do they start from the beginning? All of this stuff gets asked. So I wanted to talk about it. So anatomy and physiology, for my uni in particular, they started from the beginning, um, straight from cells and the, like, what is a cell kind of thing um obviously every uni is different but that's what mine did however if you do want to get a head start do a and p do anatomy and physiology mainly anatomy um you know d get into the basics so you know the basics ready for lectures to start um obviously if you've got a bit of understanding it makes lectures so much more easier um you know the basics you're able to go into the finer details when you're studying the degree. Uh, so yeah, anatomy and physiology is always helpful to do. Um, I did bits here and there. I wish I'd done more than I did, to be honest, even though I did do quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it's personal preference. If you're fab at A&P, don't spend the couple of months you have doing A&P. The next thing is something I started and I realised I'd done it in the wrong order when I started placement, basically. Um, look at your main bones in your limbs and you know just just the main bones you're gonna experience injuries with out on the road let's look at your legs arms uh, neck learn your vertebrae um just those as an example for me i started off with the skull and my plan was to work all the way down it just never happened and therefore i realized that was my downfall when i went on placement i didn't know my bones as much as i should and could have done um so yeah learn your bones um obviously it's part of anatomy it's part of your musculoskeletal system but take it out of that and learn it by itself kind of thing if that makes sense um there is an app that i use and it was um oh what's it called essential skeleton or something um i will put it up on the screen because i don't think that's right in the slightest um, but yeah, it literally is a screen of a skeleton. You click on every single bone. It tells you about them. It even tells the Latin about them, I think, um, if you want to go into that much depth. <laughs> the third thing I recommend doing is find an online course that really interests you and just go through it. Um, it all goes towards your CPD and you just continuous learning. So for me personally, I went on Future Learn. Um, it is like an online course website um and i did a course on illnesses in children it was from birmingham university involving west midlands ambulance service and it was just a great course i spent quite a lot of time doing it and um, i actually started it in when i was in year 12 and i just never got a chance to finish it so i went back to it and, and i think i don't don't think i finished it until a couple of weeks into first year at uni <laughs> Um, just because I spent my time on it and I, I was doing other studying as well um, but now I've got a folder with conditions for children how to treat them and stuff like that if I ever want to refer to that and I suppose I could also reference it and reference that learning I suppose in an essay if I wanted to uh, but yeah just find something you're really interested in I mean I did um, a CPD online um, webinar the other day on Penthrox um, 
more commonly known as the green whistle. It's not widely used in the UK, but it's something I've always been interested in. And um, if you've ever watched Bondi Rescue, you'll see that that is used a lot as pain relief. So I did that the other day and that's really interesting to me. So find something that interests you and go and learn about it. Um, I wish I'd done more of that, to be honest, because you don't necessarily have time when doing the degree to go away from your modules and learn something outside of the modules um, because the course is so intense. Um, I do try now and again to find stuff to study and um, that's out of the context of modules. However, I just wish I'd spent more time before the um, course started doing that. Um, yeah, it's just a great way of building your knowledge, especially when you're interested in something. And obviously, that would then also influence if you wanted to study masters, if you wanted to go into further research, stuff like that. It just it influences your whole career as a whole by looking into things at an early stage. The final thing, and I can't emphasise this enough enjoy your time off um like i said pyrex science courses are so intense um it might equates to about seven weeks holiday in a whole year um we don't get the three four months holiday like any other uni student would get um because the courses are so intense so if you've got time off go and enjoy yourself do things you want to do um i did bits here and there but i wish i'd done more of that um because you, you don't get the time to go and do things as much as you would want to when you're doing the course. For me, enjoying my time off, um, I went to Liverpool. Um, where else did I go? I did, I did loads of little things. I even made a video on it because I went just I was just absent on my channel for a while. So I made a video of what I'd done. So yeah, go and enjoy yourself. Spend time with family. You're going to be away from them if you're living in halls. So spend time with them. Um, just do things you wanted to do throughout your whole time doing A-levels and just get it done. So that's all my tips um, for what to do before you start first year of paramedic science. Um, hopefully they're helpful. Um, it's things I wish I'd done in more depth and yeah. Um, if you liked this video at all, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and down below as well. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.